Hello guys, welcome back to episode 6 of this Alpine rebuild and my oh my what a rebuild it is Probably going to be replacing one of our drivers very shortly So if you haven't seen the last video then we're at our wits end with Pierre Gasly Ugh, only got one chassis, only got one front wing He's going through gearboxes like it's no, no one's business Right, we're going to need to manufacture some new front wings Then again in saying that it's going to be done in 12 days Although the chassis design is complete, which is good We'll do research projects as well, just for next year, just because we're going to need it. I think it might be time to scout some drivers. Let's scout some drivers that are near us because I've got a feeling we're going to need it. Andy Stevenson. I need to scout him. I think I'm going to big pull the trigger on Andy. Yeah, on the floor is in the bin. I'm under, I'm aware. Sadly, there's nothing we can really do about that. Scout Randy. We'll scout Ron as well. Right, side pods manufactured, which is good. Still think they're going to 19th, but I'd rather, again, low ball is the way to go. The issue as well is how quick the first few rounds are. You just don't have, holy crap, you just don't actually have a chance to um, get any parts going. So, I mean, we are improving. Well, you'd think it by Pierre's results, but we are improving. Also, I need to figure out when the next sprint race weekend is so I don't get caught out like I did before. It was a good gamble to adjust their setups, but... Oh, this is an ugly looking map. I look so weird and wrong. I don't like that. I can't believe how quick the V-carb is, though, to be fair. It's kind of crazy. As usual, we'll run through who is in FP1. We've got Crawford. We have got Chloe Chambers, Oli Berman, Pato Award. He's done so many FP1 sessions. That's kind of crazy, to be fair. I wouldn't be opposed to having an award in the car, to be honest. But I think Lawson probably has more potential. Besides, why would you want to go from potentially a McLaren seat all the way down to an Alpine? Realistically, come on. Let's be real. <laughs> surely one thing i don't actually know yet is what kind of track suits our car right like we obviously went well around china is this kind of like china mm, i don't know speaking on pierre at the very start of the season it looked as if he was going to be the best and quickest driver however every time he was ahead of ocon something always happened and caused him to be behind now pendulum swung the other way and it's now ocon who is clearly by far the better driver so that's going to be interesting. It's going to be really interesting to see how it goes. Oh, well then. Also, I need to figure out when the next sprint race weekend is so I don't get caught out. <laughs> oh, Army thought it might have been a sprint. But I thought, yeah, there's no way, right? So then let's gamble again, shall we? What's the worst that could happen? Do you know what I mean? There's so many drivers coming out of the pit lane. Holy crap. Oh, mate. What a shambles. What a joke. Stone last year. Oh, yeah, that traffic really really hampered us there please oh we've got some soft runners we've got some softies luckily there's none around us so in theory we shouldn't actually lose out to them which is good a bit annoying we didn't make up any places but at least we didn't lose places to, you know kind of the main thing oh my god i thought we were just gonna rear end magnus and then come on boys if we can get up to like 16th or something that'd be good go on go on follow him through follow him through follow him through Good lad. That gap up ahead isn't particularly great, but we are struggling. It's going to be a long race as well. I think qualifying kind of showed that we don't really have the pace around here. Ooh, it's not looking good, breath. Ticking his nose somewhere it doesn't belong. Esteban's made it work, though. Go on, Esteban. Okay, decent. Let's keep an eye on that. Try and get Gasly in tow, then we'll worry about it a bit more, a bit less. Oh, go on, Pierre. Nice. Good job. Nice. 15, 16. Let's continue from here. Mindful of the tyres. Don't want to lose too much speed pacing them, but these two are definitely going to fight each other, aren't they? If we work together, I don't really mind too much, to be honest. Williams and Haas, I think, are too quick. I think in the right circumstance, we can beat both Hasses. We seem to be able to beat one Williams and one Haas. It can't be both. So. Oh, what a send. What a send from Pierre. Field spread's quite big, to be fair. Oh, I don't know where. Sure, we're about to find out. Oh, hasn't really helped us because now they've closed up to the back of us because we had to slow down like a crazy amount. Oh, so now just dropped down. I imagine we'll get a penalty for that as well, to be honest. He's so close to us. It's so annoying, dude. He was a bit too close for my liking. Uh, 4.7 to our Albon. Albon and Hulkenberg are fighting, but I don't think it's on our agenda, to be honest. Mostly because they're kind of working together to kind of pull away where our boys are very much just blocking each other and costing each other a lot of time. Oh. 
of all tracks, you don't want them to really race each other. I think here would probably be one of them, to be fair. But hey, so far, no tears. Oh, who's caused the red flag? Oh, it's Joe. What's happened to Joe? Bit of a weird red flag, that, I must say. I would not have thrown a red flag for that, to be honest. Everyone's going full set, to be fair. Absolute balls to the wall. Oh, we've lost that a few positions there. Now we're fine. Okay, it's all good. Go on, lad. Go on, Pierre. Full him through. Nice. What comes up to 12th as well, man? What a boy. How did he get past Albon? I didn't see him get past Albon. So focused on Gasly. Well, in. Conscious of obviously with the ERS, but no, oh, he's got back past. Damn it. We're actually overtaking a Mercedes on pace. What the hell's going on? Never mind. Did last right on. I'll keep my attention on this. Apologies, Pierre, but given who what wears up the road, this has priority. Simple move. Lovely move. Simply, simply lovely. Can he get it done this time? Oh my God, he has as well. What an absolute bloke. Albon, can you just give over, mate? Can't pick him off because of the. He's in DRS. I think I need to get up to Stroll to be fair, so. Pierre's dropped back so much, man. So much so, even Hulkenberg's now through. Ah, oh, Pierre, man. He's still having a good race, still having a good race. But this could be risky. Brilliant. And he's now going to get passed by the Sauber, right? Yeah, class. All because he, he, he got stopped on the apex. Honestly, man. It's such a load of crap. Now he's, yeah, he's been passed by Bottas now as well. Mental. Just send it, Pierre, man. Was... Oh, man, Pierre would have been so happy if he got like P15 or something like that, but... P12 fast result, but straight into quali. That's not going to be awful for Ocon, I don't think. Definitely nowhere near as bad as it was during um, spring quali. Yeah, I think we're fine. Shouldn't have any issues on this lap. Ocon's so much quicker, man. Are you going to get held by the Williams? Yeah, he's a second. He's a second off Ocon with no traffic. What are you doing? Okay, his car setup's actually 100%, which is actually quite handy. This is really going to screw Hamon over here because he's stuck behind uh, Ocon. I'm defending fresh air. Gasly, like, what is wrong with you, bro? What are you doing, man? Right, Pierre, mate, you really need to sort your lap out here or you're in trouble. I think Ocon's in trouble still, but... 33.9, bad for Ocon, but it's good for Gasly. Crazy. Need one hell of a lap here, Pierre. 33.5 for Ocon. 33.5, Pierre, my God. 31.2 for Ocon. It's 10th, it's fine. 10th's fine. He's definitely out. I think Ocon is too. Two cars. Ocon might get through. Ocon's through. Gasly is not. Just misses out. It's unlucky, man. Two tenths. It's good though. It's better. Don't have the luxury of tyres. Use them all to get out of Q1. On what crack are you smoking, Esteban? That's Aston Martin pace. What am I watching? What is he on? He's on crack. Please don't have a, a really crap last sector. Come on. Sorry. Hello. Esteban. Hello. I mean, I've got to go for it, surely, right? I've got to go for it. Why have you, why have you, why have you done that? Oh, why have you done that, you absolute idiot? Oh, you absolute fool. My lord, man. Intelligence. Are you there? Honestly, man. Again, we was up against some tyres, but like, it's not the point. It's principle. Oh, this is going to be interesting. For what? Oh, here we go. Go around the outside of Sonoda, go on. Don't get pinched, don't get pinched, don't get pinched, don't get pinched. Uh, Albon, do one, mate. You literally just dive-bombed it and you've barged me out the way. Like, are you joking? What a joke. What a joke. Well, then, Pierre, at least you're doing, doing a good job, mate. Allow it, man. They're literally just barging me out the way. And now he's been passed by two of them. Class. There you go, how do you like that? Honestly, man. What's the weather saying? Yeah, I'll stay, I'll stay in as the whole race, which is good. Oh, Hulk, we've got an issue. Please lose the rear. So, sorry, how is he still ahead? He was facing the wrong way and he's only lost two seconds, yeah? Go on, Pierre. Good lad. There's no DRS to contend with as well, so I suppose that's one benefit, I suppose. I think any advantage we did have in the dry is gone. So, there is that. Come on, Pierre. Another mechanical fault? What is wrong with his car, man? Keeps having mechanical faults. It's made a paper mache is the uh, V carb. Come on, Esteban. Down his inside, outside to get the inside. Barge him wide. He barged you wide, lad. Good job. Pierre can't catch Hulkenberg. That's the only problem. Come on. Down his inside. Lovely stuff. Ricardo is getting a toe as well, which doesn't really help. He's getting it from an Aston Martin, which is a pretty quick car in a straight line. Go on, Pierre. I have to get past him. 
Good lad. With that damage as well, it was we had to get past him. He's close. He's, Pierre's closing, which is good. We are burning up our fuel though, so any concern. Magnuson is in our sights. Lovely stuff. Why are they in the pit? Are they mad? Are they crazy? They might be. They aren't into it. Are they good? Please, everyone else pit, please. Unless their plans to like absolutely ruin them. But I wonder what their lap times would be. Sorry. I'll be damned. Well then, don't think Pierre's really got it. He hasn't got it, got it in him to pass uh, Albon and all that, I don't think. What the hell was that? Don't have time for this, man. Can't believe how much time we lost. It's crazy, man. I mean, he's slowly catching Hulkenberg, but we're not catching Sonoda annoyingly. Come on, we need to get past both asses here. Surely they're both in the pit soon, though. Right, you need to catch up those two point, those three seconds you were off him, man. It's so frustrating. He's so frustrating. No, he's past him, so I suppose there's that at least. There's no chance he catches Albon. So that's curtains on that front. I don't think Ocon's going to catch Sonoda, sadly. Even though Sonoda did, Sonoda did have an issue, I'm not sure what that issue was because it doesn't actually seem that bad. But ideally, yeah, we needed Gazi to pass Albon to be legitimately the seventh best team. But his V carbs are just too far ahead for us, to be honest. I've got a feeling Albon will pass us, to be honest. How is Gazi doing a 146.4? He just dropped it. Similar place where he dropped it when he crashed during quality. Right. We're boxing Ocon. See, Albon's not boxing either. He might box. I don't know if I leave him out or not. I reckon we leave him out. Still at the given track position. Come on, Esteban. Come on. Right, you need to pass him. You got such fresher tyres than him. This is getting stupid now. There's no way we don't pass him. Surely, right? Here you go. This is your opportunity. Ocon's clear. Happy days. He gets past Pierre at his curtains because he's got such fresh tyres. Just send it, Pierre. That's all you can do, lad. Come on, empty the battery. Ocon's done well. Come on, Pierre, bring it home, lad. You should be happy with P15. Well done, Pierre. Land on Norris, anyone? 37 0, yes. That makes no sense. Still P20, brilliant. We've moved up a place. Vamos. Well, that's a nice little treat. Oh, another nice little treat. Oh, we're being spoiled now. 11 days. Don't think that's going to be enough. That's another episode issue. Hope you've enjoyed that, guys. It was an interesting race our best race of the season so far so i guess we are making slow progress but if you have enjoyed please just have a like make sure to subscribe to the channel and i'll see you in the next episode which will be imola take care bye, -bye.